How do we feel about the pink hair? I'm living my best pink moment right now. I'm loving it. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Amanda Ense, and today we're going to be going through my current favorite products. I'm starting to feel sick, like I can feel it coming on and I can't stop it, which sucks. So if I seem a little low on energy, it's because I don't feel well, but nothing was gonna stop me from filming today because I've been wanting to film this video for so long. I haven't been keeping up with my monthly favorites, so I wanted to do one today because I love filming favorites videos. Every time it comes to the end of the month, Lately, I feel like I'm just too late and I'm like, oh, they don't want me to upload it like I'm too late. So today I just wanted to do a current favorites of things that I'm loving, things that some of it you've seen me use, some of it maybe you haven't seen me use. I just wanna talk about some of my favorite makeup products and chat with you guys and hang out and talk about makeup. First product is the brand new CoverGirl foundation. This is the True Blend Matte Made Comfort Matte Foundation. I am in this shade T30 Warm Honey. This is my tan shade. Okay, I use this in one tutorial, but I wanted to give you guys an update. I actually really like this foundation. This foundation comes in 40 different shades, which I think is pretty amazing, and it's a full coverage matte. Like, it is full freaking coverage. I like that. I feel like the gold standard in full coverage foundations is Estee Lauder Double Wear. That is my favorite full coverage foundation. This is very close. Like it reminds me of that foundation a lot. It doesn't stay on quite as long as Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I think this is a pretty good drugstore version of that foundation. It doesn't last quite as long as Double Wear, but I freaking love it so far. I've only been using it for a couple of weeks, but I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it. I really like it. It's a lot of coverage. I'm more normal to dry. If you're dry at all, you always wanna hydrate your skin before you go in to using a matte foundation because that's gonna keep the oils away. And if your skin is dry and then you apply a matte foundation, sometimes it can make you more dry. It can cake up, it can look patchy and your skin just looks really parched, like dry. You don't want that, so just make sure you moisturize before. It's summertime, it's hot, you need something that's gonna last throughout the heat. Definitely try this. There's no SPF in this foundation, which means it's perfect, perfect for photography. A summer wedding, prom, anything like that. It's gonna be great during pictures because there's no SPF, so you're not gonna get that white flashback. I've been loving this concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Concealer. It is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealer. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I've been wanting to try this forever, but they're always sold out. I went to like four different Ulta's. Um, wait, I didn't go to four. I went to three, I went to three different Ulta's and they didn't have any colors in stock of what I needed. This is in the shade C7. I picked up C7 and C5. C7, I feel like I could even go a little bit darker. I feel like they have a lot of really light shades, but this is $7 you can find at Ulta. I love this concealer. It is heavy, heavy coverage. I like the applicator as well. It's a big doe foot. I love this kind of applicator because you cover so much area really quickly. With the NARS concealer, for example, Love the formula, love that concealer, but I feel like I have to keep dipping into the tube because I'm like trying to get a ton of concealer because I need a lot of concealer. This is just like one swipe and that's all you need. There's so much concealer on the applicator, which I can really appreciate, and it's a great price. Seven bucks, you can't beat. Ain't nobody got time to pay $30 for a concealer. I know I always talk about more expensive concealers and they are good, but this one is just as good as high-end concealers and it's only seven bucks. So if you haven't tried it, make sure you try it. It's so much coverage. It'll cover up everything and your face will be beat. I feel like I haven't mentioned a brow product in a hot minute, but I've been loving this. This is the LA Girl Brow Pomade. This retails for $8. LA Girl can be a hard one to track down. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with their concealer. It's like $4. It's my favorite concealer ever, but I have fallen in love with their brow pomade. This is in the color Soft Brown. This is what I used to fill in my brows today. I got like a really sharp edge on the end of them. Hopefully my brows didn't mess up from my hair. I've been rocking a more textured, messy brow lately, but I've kind of been into pomades again because I can get the tail of the brow really defined and I really like that. Um, I was on a shoot a couple weeks ago and Lipstick Nick did my brows, which I still need her to give me a brow tutorial. She's amazing. The way she did my brows, I was just obsessed and she used a pomade. So I kind of got back into pomades again because I was like, girl, these brows are snatched. Even Raphael was like, oh my gosh, your brows look so good. And I was like, when your boyfriend compliments your brows, girl, you know they're looking snatched. I was like, okay, I need to be doing this every single day. So I've been using this and I really love it. It's a great alternative to more expensive brow pomades like the Anastasia Dip Brow. I used to use that back in the day, but I think this is just as good. 
and it's only eight bucks. I am obsessed, obsessed with the new Mac Fix Plus. This is the gold light. I've used the gold light. They also have a pink light. I've used them both in tutorials on Instagram and on YouTube and I freaking love it. Like when you shake it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There are specks, do you see that? It's magical. There are specks of gold shimmer in it. It's like a gold pearl. If you've tried their gold light strobe cream, it's like the same thing, but in a spray. I use this after I'm done with my makeup. I spray it all over my face and my chest and you just like glow. <sighs> I'm obsessed. And like, it's one of those products where even like as you shake it up before you use it, it's just satisfying. And it doesn't show up glittery all over your face. You're not gonna spray it to set your makeup and it looks like there's glitter everywhere. It's just gonna add a glow to the skin and I'm obsessed with it. The pink one too, I use them both, but the gold one is my favorite because I'm more of a gold girl. I love it. I don't know what took me so long to discover this brush. This has been my favorite foundation brush. It's the Morphe M439. This is the first brush to get me out of my beauty blender phase, and I couldn't even tell you how long. Like For the last, I feel like at least a year, I've only been using a beauty blender for my foundation, and this has gotten me out of it, which is insane. Like, literally insane. Mine's hella dirty because I use it every single day. Today, I used it with the Hourglass Stick Foundation blend like a dream. Even with the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, with the CoverGirl Foundation, it just blends everything like a dream. Like you blend it and buff it on the skin and it's so soft, it's so easy to use. I didn't know if I would like it because it's huge. Like look at how big it is, but I love it because of the size. I'm not kidding you, when I blend my foundation, it's like one, two, three, four, and I'm done. That's it, it's a wrap. If you get one thing from this video, it's this. It's bomb, you need it in your life. If you don't have it in your life, you need this in your life. Buy now, thank me later. <sighs> it's amazing. <laughs> I'm slowly getting back to my wing phase where I'm doing winged eyeliner like every single day. I went through a phase where I wasn't doing a wing at all and then the first time I went back to doing a wing, I was like, I don't know if I can do this because wings smell fear. Like when you're doing winged eyeliner and you're nervous, you, you mess up. Every single time when I get nervous and psych myself out, I mess up. So I'm back to my wing phase and I've been using the Morphe gel liner like no one's business. I'm picky when it comes to gel liner. Like if it's not my Maybelline gel liner or the Inglot gel liner, I'm not having it. But this has been my go-to and this is in the shade Jet, which is just a black color. Look how gross mine looks. I love this gel liner so much. It's what I have on obviously today. It's so easy to use. It's so creamy. It's so black. Also, it doesn't smudge and it lasts a really long time. I've worn it for like eight hours at a time and it didn't crease and it's it's hot like we're already in summer At least I feel like in LA we're in summer and it lasted all day long I love this next is the essence brighten up banana powder I have used this so much the last couple months in videos and tutorials on Instagram and YouTube I love this powder. It's so good. This is gonna sound really weird but I love trying new brightening powders. I don't know why, like it's so weird, but I love trying new powders to brighten. It's freaking good. Like sometimes when you use a powder to set your concealer, it looks like the same as your skin or it looks darker because it oxidizes. So you can take this with a brush afterwards because I've already set. I don't have a mirror, so I'm just winging it right now. I'm looking at my viewfinder. If you add it underneath of your contour, it's gonna brighten and chisel your cheekbones a little bit. I feel like my cheekbones are kind of weird, so when I bronze, I always have to go and clean it up to make it like sharper. I've been so excited to share this with you guys because I freaking love it. Like I feel like I hit the lottery when I found this because it's only $5, that's insane. And it's such a good powder, like so, so, so good. Definitely becoming my favorite drugstore powder for underneath of my eyes. This is the Bronze Sands Edition, which is the darker of her new ones. I love her packaging, it's so cool. Like on the high points, it, it shimmers when you turn it, so cool. This has been my go-to highlighter. Look at how used and abused my palette is. I adore this palette so much. It's so freaking good. I've tried her other highlight palettes and they were really good too, but this has just become like a part of me. Like I use this every single day and my favorite color is Maldives. Maldives? I said it wrong in, in a video whenever I used it. I'm super sorry. This color is everything. This is the highlight I have on today. Like can we? I'll use Bora Bora as a blush topper because it's like a rosy color. It's so beautiful. I mean highlights usually don't swatch that well. This is the color, but I like it because it's a gold, but it has a really rich gold undertone. I'm kind of moving away from the really light gold highlights. Like I really like a richer gold, especially if you have a little bit of color on your skin. It's just so beautiful. But the crazy thing about this color is that even when I'm my normal skin tone, which is like a light medium, it still looks bomb. Like usually if I'm not self tan, I can't wear really gold highlights because they look muddy, but this just looks so freaking pretty and the colors are so soft. Like the formula is so soft. It's so creamy. It doesn't look powdery. 
I love this palette so like I will buy this whole palette just for this shade I'm obsessed this is another palette that I've been obsessed with it's the morphe 8h it is the highlight and contour palette hi-fi I can't just pick one shade honestly I use all of the shades in this palette if I had to pick my favorite highlight is definitely bang bang for the bronzers the most I use are debutante and blogger which is this one right here it's more of a reddish warm and then a debutante debutante I definitely use the most I'll swatch them both on my hand for you and then sometimes I'll take donut to contour my nose because it's the lightest shade and it's got like a gray undertone in it all right I'm gonna show you big bang oh, do you see that they're so beautiful so so beautiful and I love how all the highlight shades are just so different they're very different tones and this whole palette's only $25 which again is insane like usually you will pay $30 plus for one highlight and you get four highlights and four contours that is crazy if you want to use my discount code it's just Amanda you can use it in store or online I know it's crazy you can like literally go in store and be like Amanda at checkout and they'll give you a discount so it's actually less than 25 because you got a discount code even more of a steal even without the coupon code 25 is insane for such good quality like crazy. If you've noticed lately, I'm trying to get into wearing more color on my eyes. I've been trying to do more colorful tutorials lately and just playing with lots of different colors and I've been loving it. Like. I feel like I usually wear winged liner or a brown smoky eye and a nude lip, but now I've been playing with really bright colors and just getting out of my comfort zone. So these eyeshadows are really helping me do that and they are insane. And they're the brand new Makeup Geek Power Pigments. I have mine in an empty Makeup Geek palette. What's crazy is they're just as pigmented, swatched and on the eyes as they are in the pan. Like, oh, I've been ride or die for Makeup Geek forever, I feel like, and these did not disappoint. These are definitely my favorite products they've come out with in a really long time. I feel like they've always had their staple colors. Like I have four, I'm not kidding you, Makeup Geek palettes that I always keep in my everyday drawer that I use. So when they came out with these, I was freaking out because these have so much color and so much pigment. Like Power Pigment is the perfect name for these because they pack a punch when it comes to color. Like I'm just gonna barely dip my finger into the red and the blue. Look at that. That's insane. Let's swatch the pink. Oh, the yellow, the yellow is so pretty. There's so much color, these are matte. They're so much fun. If you go back to my wig video where I showed you how I put on my wigs, I was actually wearing the pink and the purple in that video. I had like this pink purple smoky eye. They're so good. I can't wait to do more looks. I really wanna use the light blue, the yellow, the green. I mean, really I wanna use all of them. Like they're so freaking beautiful and they did not disappoint with the pigment, the intensity, they're easy to blend, they're not powdery, they're amazing. Oh my gosh, this matches my hair. Oh, I'm obsessed. Next, I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleep Mask. This product is so good. I mean, everything I'm mentioning is good, but I'm just like, it's really good. This is a product from a brand called Glow Recipe and it's a watermelon sleeping mask. Like, does that not sound so delicious? So this is the first product I've used from the brand. I've got to smell it really quick because I love watermelons so much. Oh my God, it smells so good and it feels so good. So what a sleeping mask is, is you put it on at night and then you go to bed and you wake up. You don't ever wash it off. Your skin will absorb everything as you sleep and as your skin is replenishing. I love it so much. It makes my skin so glowy and plump in the morning. Like I notice a huge difference when I put this on at night after I'm done with my skincare, I'll do my eye cream, my moisturizer, serums, whatever. And then I will put this on and I wake up and my skin is just like radiant. I'm like, who is she? One thing I thought was cool that I saw on Sephora's website is this product claims to be good for uneven skin tone, dullness and uneven texture, amazing and oiliness, which I've never heard a product like a sleep mask like this that says that it'll help with oiliness. So I'm guessing it's supposed to help even out the pH in your skin, the oils in your skin. I think that's pretty amazing. I'm not oily really that much anymore. So I don't know, we'll see as summer comes around, but it's good for any skin type. Like I'm just looking on Sephora's website. It's just a radiance boosting sleeping mask and it has hyaluronic acid for post facial results all in one jar. No sulfates, no parabens. It's the best of Korean beauty, which is awesome. I've been loving some Korean beauty lately and there's no mineral oils, which is amazing. The texture is really light and bouncy. Like it just absorbs into your skin. But when you wake up, your skin is so hydrated. It's it's not heavy like a cream or an oil. It's very light and I really love it so much. If you're looking for like a good feel good product, a good for your skin product, it's so easy to use. Put on at night, go to sleep, wake up, 
your skin is flawless. My next product is a multi stick from Bite Beauty, and this is in the shade Blondie. I have been loving these. Okay, what this is, it's like a contour stick. It applies like a cream and then it dries like a powder and it's weightless, it lasts all day and it dries to a powder finish. So when you apply it on the skin, like I'll show you, it applies like a cream, right? And then you blend it out with your finger and it dries to a powder finish and it's not gonna budge. Like you can still see some of my skin underneath and it looks so natural. When I'm doing makeup on a daily basis, I want products that are really easy to use and that I don't even have to think about. When it comes to contouring with creams, they can be really hard because they're really creamy and they go everywhere, but this product makes it so easy. These are bomb. I love them so much and they have so many different colors. They also have like blush colors and their new pearl prismatic colors that are really beautiful, but I love this and it does not crease. You don't have to set it with a powder or anything because it dries down to a powder finish and I freaking love them. These are all lip products. Oh my gosh, I have so many lip products. As always, I have a lot of lip products, so let's just get into it. <laughs> NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, I fell in love with them. I used to use them back in the day, but I haven't used them in years. This is probably gonna sound weird, but once I got my lips dissolved, I really started embracing more natural lip colors with just a lip pencil. I fell in love with the shape of my lips again, and I really liked a more natural lip look, so I started using these, and I became obsessed with them on days that I'm not wearing makeup, on days that I'm wearing just a little bit of makeup, and even on days where I'm wearing a really glam like eye, and I want something very understated on the lip. I have been so in love with these. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand for you, but I'm gonna be honest, these don't swatch that well. They're a very thin formula, and that's what I like because it's so thin, you don't feel it at all on the lips. Like, at all, you do not feel it, and it lasts, and it does not come off. Like, it literally becomes one with your lips. Now, I definitely would wear a lip pencil with these unless you're going for like a super, super natural look because if not, you're not gonna get that definition. My favorites are London and Abu Dhabi, so I'm gonna swatch London first. See how thin it is? You can literally see my skin underneath. Then Abu Dhabi, they're amazing. I love these so much. I know a lot of people love these. I wanna give them a shout because I've been wearing them so much. Can we just take a second and look at this packaging because it's freaking beautiful. This is a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and it's called Bitch Perfect. This this is a peachy nude. It is my everyday kind of color. My favorite kind of lip to wear lately is to do a darker brown lip pencil and then I'll take this color just in the center and blend it outwards, kind of like I have today. That's just my go-to lately. I've been getting into lipsticks more. I haven't been using liquid lipsticks quite as much now. Liquid lipsticks still have my heart, but I've been doing lipsticks and glosses a lot lately. So this is like a bougie lipstick. I'm not gonna lie, when I'm out, I feel some kind of way when I'm like pulling out this lipstick and it's so cute and putting on. It's, it's everything. I love this lip color. It's so freaking beautiful. And I feel like it'll work on so many different skin tones. Like it is a beautiful peachy nude. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I mean, it's perfect. I think I've mentioned this before. I'm really sorry if I've mentioned this before, but I freaking love it so much. Like so, 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 so much. It's so good. I'm gonna mention it again if I have mentioned it before. That'll just let you know how much I really love this lipstick. This is a L'Oreal Color Reach lipstick in the shade Glossy Fawn number 900. And this is what it looks like. This is such an easy color to wear. It's this color right here. You can see it's kind of on the sheer side. You can still see my skin underneath. You don't even have to use a lip pencil. Like you can just apply this and my lips are pigmented. Like my lips are like a rosy tint pigmented naturally. When I put this on my lips turn to like a light brown nude. Like my lips will look this color and I don't even have to use a lip pencil. And it's so moisturizing. It's like putting on a lip balm that's moisturizing but it has so much pigment and it doesn't move. Like it stays put and I freaking love it. They have a lot of really pretty nude shades in this line and the packaging I think is actually really cute too. It looks super high end and it's at the drugstore. Next I have the MAC Lip Gloss in the shade Lust. This is the perfect nude lip gloss. It is so beautiful. I love MAC Lip Gloss. I love that it's lip glass and not lip gloss. I love that they do their own thing and they're like, we got lip glass, not lip gloss. I love it. I've been using their lip gloss for five years. Wait, more, maybe like six or seven years. I've been using MAC lip glosses they're so high shine and they last and they're everything so this is the shade lust I've been loving it so much it's another nude nudes are, are just my go-to right now so here is lust oh, it's so freaking pretty 
Look at that. And you can see how it's not breaking up, it's not moving. I don't like really runny lip glosses that like move. Like I want it to stay put when I put it on and give me that high shine. I freaking love it. This has been the nude lip gloss I've been wearing in a lot of my pictures. When you guys are like, what is that nude color? It's lust, it's everything. My current favorite lip pencils are from Bite. They're so freaking good. Like so, 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 so good. I feel like in every video I'm using a different Bite lip pencil, but you've probably seen me use this one the most and it's number 36. I think there's a name on their website if you look at 36, but it doesn't say the name on here. They're always numbers. That I don't care for, but I love the formula. I love their lip pencils. This one is my favorite. So this is the color right here, number 36. It's a light pinkish brown. It's a little bit more pink and brown than my natural lip color, which I like because it still stands out. And I use it every single day. Like I guarantee you I have at least one of these in my purse because I have so many backups of these. And whenever I can't find it, I just like go grab a new one because I'm obsessed with it. Hold on, I'm gonna grab my purse. I wanna see. Hold on. I guarantee you I have one in my purse. Here's my bag. I bet you that there's at least one in here. Okay, I have a few lip pencils in here. All right, there's three lip pencils in my bag. I have Bite 36. I freaking told you I always have a 36. I have MAC Spice lip pencil and I have another Bite in freaking 36. I had two 36 in my purse. So I have three 36 just sitting here. I have issues but it's so good. Honestly, I feel bad at this point because I have so many amazing products in this video and this is something y'all need to pick up. Like, you're gonna have to pick this up. This is my current favorite lip balm. It is from Fresh. I'm a ride or die fan for Fresh. I feel like I could be a spokesperson for them at this point. I love their skincare. They came out with these lip balms and I am just beyond obsessed. They already had this formula in the caramel and I loved it. They launched new flavors, scents, whatever you wanna call it. They're amazing. This one is my favorite. This is the Fresh Sugar Coconut. Okay, I'm obsessed. Beyond obsessed with coconut. If you don't know, hi, my name's Amanda. I'm obsessed with coconuts. Coconut scents, coconut fragrances, coconut food, coconut flavor, anything coconut, I need it in my life, okay? This is no exception. This is like pina colada in a lip balm. It is so amazing. I actually just purchased this one. Since I have my purse here, I wanna show you guys because I always carry them in my purse. This is my first one that I've only had for like a month maybe or two and look, I'm obsessed. This stuff is bomb. I also have the lemon. It's really good. And I have the chocolate. The chocolate is amazing. They have a peach as well, but I haven't tried it. I'll definitely pick it up. I haven't tried that one yet, but the coconut by far is my favorite. The formula is the same, so it just really depends on what kind of flavor you want. You know what I'm saying? And they do taste really good. These are hydrating, they're silky, your lips feel moisturized, they feel like thank you for putting this on me, I was parched and now I'm like plump and beautiful. It's the best lip balm, I love it so much. I've kind of been having a red moment lately, like I've been loving red lip colors, especially when I have my blonde hair. I'm just living for it, like I'm loving a red lip. If you remember my zero to 100 video, I mentioned these buxom Vava 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 Plump. I didn't want to mess that up. I almost messed it up. These are from Buxom. They're like lip vinyls, so they don't dry to a matte. They stay glossy, but they're long wearing. And this is the color Boldly Go. I'm gonna swatch this and you're gonna be like, damn. Oh my God, do you see that? This is everything, like a summer strawberry lip. This is all you need. I love the color. The color is everything. They have so many different colors, but what draws me to this is this bright red. It is beautiful look at that last lippy is also a red and it's from morphe they just launched their mega mattes and this is in the color lover <sighs> let me show you let me show you this color the packaging too though are you kidding it's so beautiful i'm gonna swatch this on my hand with one swipe so you can see do you see that it's so pigmented and so creamy and so matte these are insane like i was so hyped when they launched this campaign to try these lip colors and I've been loving a red moment. Look at how freaking beautiful that is. They launched five different reds. This one is Lover, it's my fave. Look at how beautiful. I have two more products to show you and first is my Brazilian body crush, Brazilian crush. I got, almost got it right. I want my whole house to smell like this. I want my car to smell like this. I wanna smell like this. It's the most magical thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. This is from a brand called Sol de Janeiro. They are amazing. Like I literally love every single one of their products. Their Boom Boom Cream is oh, my entire life. If you've never tried that, make sure you try it. Oh, I actually have a mini one that came in my BoxyCharm. 
that I talked about in my last video. It's everything. And this body mist is my second favorite product from them. Like this and the Boom Boom Cream I use every single day. I'm not gonna do the scent justice by describing it to you, but it has salted caramel, it has pistachio. There might be guadana in here as well, which is a Brazilian fruit. It just smells fresh. It smells beachy. It smells delicious. Like I just wanna lick whoever wears this. Like it smells so good, like so, so good. If you wanna know what I smell like, go pick this up, go smell it. It is amazing. This is the only scent, like literally the only scent that I have that I can wear for any occasion. I can wear it to work out, I can wear it to run errands, I can wear it for a date, I can wear it for a red carpet. I could wear this for anything, anything. It's amazing, you have to get it. If you don't have it, go smell it. If the whole world smelled like this, whew, seriously. It's amazing. This is a bougie product. I feel bougie just saying the name. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. I've waited almost two years to buy this. I bought this a couple months ago and I can't believe I waited so long. I would like always go and see it and then talk myself out of it. I'm like, oh, you don't need it because she's expensive, but she's worth it. And not only is it amazing, but it's also a beautiful vanity piece. Like I set out my vanity and every time I wake up, I'm just like, oh, like it just looks so pretty. Look at like all the gold shimmers in here. It's insane. This is a spray oil. You can put it all over your body. I don't put it on my face. I put it on my chest. I put it on my arms. I put it on my legs your skin will be glowing like you will walk out and everyone will be like who is that it is unreal Soleil Blanc is probably my favorite scent from Tom Ford. I do have this perfume and I wear it pretty often so not only is it gorgeous but the scent is beautiful like it just smells beachy and fresh similar to like the Sol de Janeiro but it's a very different kind of beachy like they're very different kind of notes and I love that this makes your body glow. You spray it everywhere, you're glowing. It's not too oily. It is an oil, but it's not greasy. It's not too much. So you don't have to worry about like sweating it off. It's not gonna feel heavy on your skin. It's amazing. I really only use it for special events or if I'm going to take pictures. If not, I won't use it. Like I don't use it every day. It's like a special occasion thing for me but I freaking love it. So if you've been thinking about getting this, treat yourself, it's so good. My last favorite is a fashion favorite and these are some kicks. I love shoes, I'm obsessed with shoes. <sighs> I love shoes. I have two pairs of shoes I wanna show you from a brand called Ego UK. I've been wearing their shoes for years. Like I've been wearing them since my first house in Tennessee, maybe even my apartment before that. But I used to always show them to you guys on Instagram and in my videos. Their shoes have always been amazing. They're always good at keeping up with trends. I don't know what it is about the last couple months, but they have just been like blowing me out of the water. I love their sneakers. I love their heels. I love their flats. I love their boots. I love their shoes. Like they are so, so, so amazing. And and these two are gonna have you guys dead. You're gonna be like, oh my God. So the first one I'm gonna show you <laughs> is this one. Louis Vuitton came out with sneakers that are just like this. They have different colors and so does Ego UK to where they have this huge dip and the shoes are huge. Some people don't like the Louis Vuitton ones. They think that they look stupid. I personally really like them. I feel like I always like weird fashion things that no one else likes. I, I love them. So when I saw these, I was like, I have to have them because when I was in Paris, everyone was wearing the Louis Vuitton ones. And there were some people on the trip I was on that were desperately trying to find the Louis Vuitton ones. And when I saw these, I was like, I have to have them. These are $20. <laughs> These are $20. I freaking love them. They're actually really comfy. I think they're badass. I really like them. My other favorite are these, and these are trainers as well, and they look like the Balenciaga shoes, the ones that look like socks. Ego does a lot of shoes that are inspired by expensive designer shoes, which I really like. Now, they don't say Balenciaga. Obviously, they're not knockoffs, but they are inspired by that trend clearly, and I love them. These are, I think, 25 or 30 dollars which is still insane and they're pretty comfy as well like ain't nobody got time to be spending a thousand dollars on shoes i mean i love designer stuff don't get me wrong but these are so inexpensive and anyone can rock them i really like them i also have a coupon code for them as well uh i'll link it down below because i can't remember what it is i don't really promote it very often but i will link my coupon code in the video and i will link it in the description bar but these are so great and i had to share them with you so those are all my current favorite products i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did hit subscribe down below also make sure your post notifications are turned on so that way you never miss a video um um, and I love you guys. We gotta do a team shout out of the day. Let's go. Today's a team shout out goes to Heidi Carey. She said, love this kind of video, especially since you're so honest and real with us. Love you, gorgeous. Hashtag notification squad, hashtag a team. Love you too. I'm so glad you liked the video. 
All right, you guys, that is all of my current favorites. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you so much. And let me know in the comments requests for new videos. Also, I'll link all my social media platforms down below if you're not following me. They're just at Amanda Ensing, but I'm the most active after YouTube. I'm active on Instagram like every single day. I'm on Insta Story, so make sure you guys come say hey, come follow me on Instagram, and I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.